Hi, and welcome to Roy Boy Music Works. Today, uh, we're going to talk about tritone substitutions, okay? Um, and we're going to use the blues because the blues is a very simple progression. Most of you are probably have played the blues at some point or another, and it's a very good way to introduce some of these ideas for substitute chords, etc. So if we look at a regular blues progression, we're going to see that we have uh, the first bar is C, bar one is C for four beats because we're in four four. Bar two is going to be an F13, the four chord. And I know a lot of you may be saying, well, I don't ever remember seeing a four chord in bar two, or I, I just remember seeing four bars of C. That's okay. This is this F13 uh, in bar two is sort of from the jazz idiom. You don't have to play it. I like to play it because it it gives it a little bit more flavor. Okay, and then back to bar three, we've got a C13 for bars three and four. And I just want to say at this point, get used to me referring to chords in an extended form. We've talked about that. So get used to me saying uh, chords like C13, F13, C minor 11, uh, C major, 13 with a raised 11. Get used to me saying that because uh, these are the chords that we're going to be using in our um, in our mock-ups. Um, so we're going to try and expand your playing and make you think about music in a different way. Uh, look at it through a different window, if you will. Um, and so, we, as I say, we have one bar of C, one bar of F, two bars of C13. That brings us into bar five where we have our four chord, our F13. And we play that for bars five and six. And then in bar seven, we go back to our C13 for two bars. So in bars seven and eight, we're gonna play our C13. In bar nine, we're gonna go to the five chord, which is the G13. In bar 10, we're gonna go to the four chord, which is our F13. And then back in bars 11, and 12, we're going to go back to our C13. Now here you'll see a D flat 13, and you'll say, "Well, Roy, what is what is that all about?" I don't. I, I, well, that's a tritone sub um, for the five of C. What is that? That sounds like you know uh, some advanced math class. And this is what we're going to get into. We're going to get into tritone subs because what we want to do is we want to create five ones, right? And ultimately, we're going to be doing two five ones and et cetera, et cetera. And if we want to create a five one, if this is one, what's the five of C? 13 would be G13, which would go here, except we're going to use the tritone sub of the G13, which is the D flat 13. Hmm. You're saying, oh boy, I don't, boy, this is really. I don't get any of this. Okay, don't worry about it. We're going to go through it. And if you don't get it, just go through the video a few times. I realize I'm speaking a little fast, uh, but I want to get through this material as quickly as possible so people will watch it till the end. You can always go back and watch it and hit the space bar. Uh, you know, if I say something and you want to figure that out, just hit the space bar and figure it out. Then hit the space bar again. It will continue the video from there. You can add part two to that. So you got parts one and two, and then hit the space bar and figure that out. And then add bar three, hit the space bar, and you could add parts one, two, and three, hit the space bar, so that you're pausing it to let your mind catch up with what I'm talking about. Okay? So what's the, first of all, before we talk about tritone subs, we have to, we have to talk about a tritone. Hey, Roy, what's, the, what's a tritone? Well, a tritone is an interval. Now, we've talked about intervals before. We've talked about whole steps. We've talked about half steps, major thirds, minor thirds, major sixth, minor sixth. And tritone is nothing more than an interval, just the distance between two notes. And the tri stands for three, and tone stands for whole steps. So we're just going to go up three whole steps from the root of our chord. Okay, so in bar one, our chord is a C13. What's the root of that? Is C, right? So we're going to go three whole steps above C. So a whole step up from C is D. A whole step up from D is E. A whole step up from E is F sharp. Okay, 
So a tritone above C is F sharp. Now you may have, most of you may not even know that that you've heard F sharp, uh, you've heard tritone, tritone intervals being used more than you ever thought. Have you ever watched The Simpsons? Well, the first three notes of The Simpsons, the first two are the tritone, and then the the tritone resolves up a half step. The Simpsons, the Simpsons, that's a tritone. The Sim, that's a tritone. The first three notes of uh, Leonard Bernstein's uh, Maria from West Side Story. Maria, the first note is a C, uh, the next note is a tritone above that, which is F sharp, and then the next note is G. Maria. The Simpsons. Pardon my singing voice. So what does all of that mean, Roy? How do we put this together now? Well, because it's a tritone substitution chord, this simply means that you can use this chord as a substitute. So uh, what's a tritone up from C? Is F sharp. So we take that F sharp and we build a dominant seventh chord off of that F sharp. So that's your tritone sub. So if you see a chord written, C7, C9, C13, you can play an F sharp, uh, 7th, 9th, 13th chord as a substitution instead of the C chord. So if I play the C7 in the left hand, C, E, G, B flat, and then I take my tritone sub and play it in the right hand, F sharp, B flat, C sharp, and E, that's a pretty wicked sounding chord, okay? Um, so interestingly enough about the tritone subs, we talked in the last, uh, one of the last videos about the two most important notes in a chord being the third and the seventh. So in a C7 chord, the most important notes in that chord are an E and a B flat, right? The third and the seventh. So now if we go to our tritone sub and we play an F sharp, uh, F sharp seven, what's the third of that F sharp seven? Is an A sharp or a B flat? And the seventh of that F sharp seven is, a, is an E. So in a C seven chord, the third and the seven are E and B flat respectively. In an F sharp seven chord, the third and the seventh are B flat and E respectively. So no matter which chord you have in the bass, whether it's the F sharp or the C, you still have the E and the B flat. Okay, so that's our tritone sub. Um, and let me show this to you uh, in practice a little bit here. If we uh, go over to here, now what the tritone sub really is doing is substituting for a five one. So in music, we like our five ones, C to G, F to B flat, A to D, B flat to E flat. So that five chord is typically a dominant chord which goes back to the one chord, which is t usually major or minor. In our case of the blues, we're using just dominant chords to make things easier, but it's the same idea. So if we're looking over here and we see a C13 for one bar, bar two, we go to our F13, and then bar three, we go to our C, right? We're gonna play that C chord for bar three, and the first two bar bar uh, uh, the two first two beats of bar four when we get to beats three and four of bar four we want to use make a five one um, uh, um, chord progression so what's the five of C remember music is like driving it's where you're going not where you've been so we want to make this five one into this chord right so what's the five of F is C. And, and in, the, in the last example that we showed you, this G flat chord wasn't here, it was just a straight C chord. 
which would give us a 5-1. But we want to make our playing a little more interesting, a little more sophisticated. So instead of that C here, we're going to use C's tritone sub, which is what we just talked about it. F sharp, well, I'm calling it a G flat, but it's essentially the same chord. And this F sharp or G flat 13 will go right into an F. So it's a chromatic, it's a tritone sub. I've heard a lot of guys call it a chromatic dominant. So if you're playing your C here in bar three, two, three, four, four, and then you're gonna go to your G flat 13, so we've got that chromatic walk down. And so then we're going to play the F for a bar. And uh, we're going to play the F for bars five and the first two beats of bar six. The, the bar beats three and four of bar six. We're going to use a tritone sub here because we want to create a five one. What's the five of C is G. And what's G's? tritone sub is a D flat. Again, it's a half step and you can sort of use that as sort of a thing. Anytime you've got a chord and you want to make a 5-1 and use the tritone sub for the chord you're going to, just play a dominant chord a half step up from where you're going and that will be your tritone sub. It's a nice little, it's a nice little trick it makes things a lot easier so the G flat the D flat is going to go right back to C we're going to play that for uh, bars what is that one two three four five six bar seven the first in the first two bars of the first two beats of bar eight in bars in, in beats three and four of bar eight we want to use a tritone sub to, we want to create a five one here so the five of G is D7, so instead of having a D7 here, what's D's tritone sub is A flat, which is a half step above your G. And then we want to create a 5 1 here, so the 5 of F is C. C's tritone is G flat or F sharp 13. We've already talked about that, which will be a chromatic walk down to the F for uh, two beats. Um, then we're going to play a D flat um, 13. Why? Because that's a tritone sub for the 5 of C, which is G. So instead of playing F here and G here, we're going to play F for two beats and then D flat 13 for two beats, which takes us back to C. And then we're going to do an E flat 13. We're going to do a D minor 13, and we're going to do a D flat uh, 13, which is a tritone sub uh, for the G7, which will lead us back to C, which is the beginning of our form again. Now you be, may be looking at bars 11 and 12 and wondering, gee, Roy, what, what? The, I don't, I don't get that at all. What is, what is that all about? Well, um, a common, one of the most common chord progressions is a one, six, two, five. So in C, a one, six, two, five consists of the one chord, which is C, the six chord, which is A, the two chord, which is D, and the five chord, which is G. So what have I done here? Instead of playing C13 to A13, I've taken A13's tritone sub, which is a half step above your D minor, and you get a nice little chromatic walk down there. And instead of doing a G to C, which would be a 5-1, we're going to use G's tritone sub, which is a D flat 13, which takes you right back, as I said, to the beginning to C, which is the beginning of the form. So you're going to have something that sounds uh, a little bit like this. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then back to the bar one of your of your um, of your form. So you can see how that sounds a little more interesting than if we just play blues and C. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, one, two, three. One. So now we've got a one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, 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 four. And that and so it brings you back to the beginning of your um, of your phrase uh, at the end of this video. Well, not at the end, but um, I will be adding to this video pl uh, me playing this particular 12 bar blues uh, with the tritone subs uh, so that you can get an idea of what it sounds like in action. Um, this is pretty sophisticated music theory. So if you're not getting it, don't beat yourself up. Uh, what you want to do is go over this. Music is like a language. And if you spent three hours a day on a new language, you would get it much quicker than if you spent 10 minutes a day on a new language. And then on Sunday, tried to do seven hours. Or if you did an hour a day, uh, you'd come along much quicker with it than if you didn't do it all week and on Sunday you were going to do seven hours uh, of your new language. So music is the same thing. You want to work on this every day. That's why when we take lessons, we go for a week uh, between lessons because we take what we learned and we go home and tear it apart and, um, and work on it. You guys have a, a, much, a much greater advantage these days because you have tools like YouTube where you can go back over the lessons over and over and over again and don't be afraid to do that. This is very sophisticated stuff. If you don't get it in the first 15 minutes or whatever it is that, that I'm presenting this, it's not a big deal. It's just, that's just par for the course. Uh, we have to work on this stuff on a continual basis to start understanding how these chords fit together. And so um, this is our lesson on tritone subs. And very simply, um, a tritone sub is uh, a sub for a 5-1 progression. So if you, have, if you consider whatever chord you have on beat one of a measure, your one chord, the last two beats of the previous measure, you want to use the five chord to create a 5-1. Well, if, if C is on beat one of this bar, the last two beats of this bar are going to be what? The five of C, which is going to be G, right? One, two, three, four, five. How many of you have ever heard this? Well, that's simply a five, one. G seventh to a C triad. So, but instead of using that G7, we're going to go to G's tri uh, tritone sub. How do we get our tritone sub? We go up three whole steps from our, our root note, which in this case would be G. We go up a whole step to A, a whole step to B, a whole step to C sharp or D flat. And instead of this, you have this. Now, I know that doesn't you may say, well, the 5 7 sounds better, but in the context of more sophisticated music, the tritone sub really sounds great, particularly when you extend that chord, when you add the ninth, when you add the 13th, when you add some of those other notes, it really makes it sound better. So here we have a G7 to a C. Here we have a D flat 
to a C major 13. So the second one sounds much more sophisticated and, uh, and much more pleasing, and that's sort of the road we're going to go down. So please subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave them uh, below. If you want any PDF or MIDI files of what we've just done, uh, blues with tritone subs, just send me an email to royboymusicworks at yahoo.com. Thank you so very much. Hope you have a wonderful day.